Hey everybody, Landfox here, and today we got a new video from the hottest dog, and it's called The Bear Crow. Which is not a music video at all, this is just an animation, and it's narrated by the creep, Mr. Creepy Possum. So let's see what this is going to be, because this is his Halloween special one. So, let's get into it. I can hear the whistling again. It's the final weeknight, and again, he has come, whistling that little ditty, repeating it again and again, enough times to drive the sanest of men crazy. I can see through the window, the light through the cornfield, the rustling of plants, the maddening whistling. It's all culminating to a feeling of hopelessness, dread. Like being faced with a gun, you're up against a wall. I know he wants to find me, but I don't know what he wants. I don't, I don't want to know what he wants. All I want is for this to be over with. The lamplight is becoming brighter. The whistling is becoming louder. And the dread in my stomach is becoming worse and worse every second. With only, a, with only my need to keep... Quiet, preventing me from either screaming in fear or throwing up from the sickening tension. It feels like time is torturing me, making things seem slower than they are to keep my anxiety levels sky high. But it feels all too soon when he finally shows his face through the green fog like plants. All I can see is his smile. A stitched malicious smile like it was sewn shut to keep his hatred from spewing forth. The dim lamp swaying back and forth as he comes through the corn, effortlessly almost gliding through like a ghost. I'm nauseated seeing his dimly lit figure oh, wander towards me. Wander towards my little house. But it's even worse, trying to figure out what he even wants from me. Does he, does he want me dead? Does he want me to go mad? I can't tell, but... What's for certain is that whatever he wants is not pleasant. It's not wrong. My gut tells me to make a run for it, but I know for a fact that he's faster. The times I try to escape have usually been worse. Or at least the most terrifying. I feel his cold, clammy hand on my shoulder. That's how close it got. He's at the door. I can hear it slowly creaking open. God knows how he can open a locked door. But at this point, I'm too frightened to care. I hide in my cupboard, sweat dripping out of me like a water balloon that got punctured. The whistling. Right underneath me, and the constant creaking of the floorboards giving me shivers. Every time I hear it, he's coming up the stairs. And the dim light is slowly creaking through the cracks in the cupboard. The brighter and brighter. The whistling getting louder and louder. Every synapse in my body is getting so tense it hurts. The light stops getting brighter and the whistling like it's, like it's almost right next to my ear and then I let out a breath. The whistling stops. No. Oh 
God, no, he knows where I am. He'll find me, and I'll, it'll all be over. I can hear his breathing, just his footsteps. A few seconds go by, but no noise, no whistling. Just infinitely tense silence. And the whistling begins again. He walks away, leaving me in my scared stupor. The door closes. The light fades. And I'm left scared and alone. Dreading the next week. And dreading that next time. I won't be so lucky. Oh, what? Okay, is it me or just a uh, happy Halloween where it just started going purple? So, so that was How This Dog's animation video, The Bear Crow, narrated by the Mr. Creepy Fossil, animation by the How Dog. So, hoping you guys enjoy it, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.